Oh, the Canadian Kirk Lecture here, and welcome back to day 276 of the Daily Deck Review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Ireland Premium Playing Cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. But well, before we start, these are still fully sealed in the cellophane. So, we're going to crack the cellophane and open them up. So, there's the pull tab right there, nice and easy. And if I can get this off, the cell phone's on there pretty, like, what, tight there. But now that we have that off, you can see we got the Ireland premium playing cards in the standard glossy finish tuck box. It's more of like a, a brighter green tuck box with some, like, other colored accents on there. It says Ireland premium playing cards. And you got that fancy, like, border going around. And then you've got a harp there on the front. And I'm not sure exactly what those designs are called. There's like some probably a name for it, but I don't know. And on the side it says printed by Legends Planker Company. So I'll, I'm pretty sure that's the Taiwan Planker Company Legends. But don't quote me on that. I think it is. And on the other side it says designed by Randy Butterfield. On the bottom, you got it says printed by PRC. By Legends Playing Card Company Co. Classic finish designed by Midnight Cards, midnightcards.com, their website, and their logo right off to the side. On the back, I'm not sure if that's the back design, but it might be the back design, so we'll possibly a sneak peek of that back design. On the top, it says a poker size, classic finish. And then, if we open this up on the tuck flap, you just got the Midnight Cards logo there. On the inner tuck flaps, you just got that green color. What's that? Like the design that's all over the tuck box. And you have to take the cards out of the box. And these are sealed, so you know they're from Legends. On the inside of the tuck box, it is just plain white. Nothing too crazy or fancy going on inside there. Now that we took a look at the tuck box, now take a look at the cards. And first, we're going to have to unwrap the cards because they are wrapped up. And I'm not sure how to open these. Well, I got them open now. It was actually easier than I thought. There was a pull tab on these. But anyways, here we have the back design here. And on the back of the truck box was not the back design. So I've seen this. I thought that might have been the back design, but it's not. So you got some kind of little logo there. The shield with the Ireland flag, the green, red, and orange there. The clover there. And then some kind of like Irish saying on it. Which I, have, I don't know what that says. But now we'll start with the card, the back design here. You got that mirrored back design. Once again, there's no standard white border, but you still got the border. It's in a green, dark green kind of colorway with a green back design there with the kind of gold kind of harp here on either side there. And you got that same border that you've seen on the tuck box there. And there's a mirrored back design. So if we were to flip it over, same design in both directions. And since these are printed by Legends, Planker Company, like they'll have a different stock and finish and feel than like your regular United States Planker Company, like the bicycle air cruiser finish, so they'll have a different feel than that. So it's always nice to test out different stocks and finishes. And now for the cards you get with the deck. Okay, here's where that design on the back of the truck box comes in. You got the Joker here. It says Joker Joker there in the corners. You got that same border style with that back with that uh, kind of like shield kind of little design there with the Ireland flag the green white and orange you got the clover there and then the like Irish saying there whatever that says I do not speak Irish so I would not know what that says then you got pretty much an identical joker just it has an orange background instead of that like dark green background and I'm going to assume all the cards have that same like border going around I won't talk about it too much. But then you got the custom ASS page. What's that harp again? There. And it says designed by Midnight Cards, printed by Legends Player Company. And then the rest of the cards here, you got the spades. And all the cards are fully inked. So you got the green background for all the cards as well, with that border. And then you got the white spades here, with a little bit of green pinstripe kind of little designs on the inside there. And that goes throughout the rest of the spades. I think some of the cards are slightly sticking together, maybe. 
I don't know. Anyway, we'll get to the court cards. Where'd the jack go? Oh, yep, see that the cards are slightly sticking together. Well, we got the court cards, a jack, queen, and king of spades here. And they're pretty standard. They're just in a slightly swapped colorway. So I got a little bit of gold, brownish gold, and some greens to it. There. And then we get to the diamonds here. And they're, they got the white pips once again. But they have an orange background. This time we got a reddish orange background. There. And then they got the little orange is red. That was called orange. You got the orange like pinstripe. Stripe there. With inside the diamond. And that goes throughout the rest of the diamonds. There's that orange background. And even the court cards have that orange background. And then the court cards here have that like brownish gold color with the orange there. And they all have the black and white to them too. But yeah, the court cards fully standard, just in that swapped colorways. Same thing with the. I guess they're really sticking together for some reason. But you got the Jack, Queen, and King of oh, clubs. The clubs here have that custom design with that striping, like little pinstripes kind of design inside. In the green colorway, and then you got the court cards for the clubs, fully standard, just in that swap color with that like brownish gold and the green. And the clubs have that same like design all the way through. You can see it a little bit easier on the club there. And lastly, the hearts also have a little bit of pinstriping in that orange colorway. They have the orange colorway for the background once again for the hearts, Jack, Queen, and King, fully. Pretty standard, just in that like orange and like goldish brown colorway. The hearts have that design all the way through it, and you can see it a little bit easier on the Ace of Hearts. And there's no, it looks like there's no extra cards in the deck. I don't think the tuck box has anything in it. Doesn't sound like it, and I didn't happen to see any other than the custom jokers there. Those were the only like, standard cards that I've seen. But now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. So we'll, we'll start, first we'll start with the springs. And I gotta definitely say the cards are a little bit like thicker of a card. Well, they're definitely thicker. And they definitely have a little bit more stiffness. But I'm not just saying I'm opposed to the stiffness of them. Stiffness may sometimes like the stiffer the cards, they make for pretty good springs. Or you're definitely gonna have some people are definitely gonna have a little bit of trouble like springing these, like they put a little bit more pressure and effort into it, like a little bit more than usual. So they're definitely a little bit more stiffer than your regular like bicycle deck. That's one thing to take notice. It's almost like making my hand a little bit sore springing these, but they're pretty still pretty smooth for the springs. And now on to the fans. As you can see, they spread pretty evenly. You see most of the pips and numbers. It's not like really any like stickiness or clumsiness to the cards, but like almost when I was like, like going through all the cards, they were kind of like sticking together. So, so they might have a little bit of like stickiness to them, but like when you fan them, they don't really. But at the same time, they almost slightly feel like they want to stick together, but they're not. So, but now time for the Pharaoh. And well, they interlock them with pretty nice. They didn't like fare like perfectly good because I did have to shuffle and push them together so they weren't like super smooth. But now time for a giant fan of the back design. Now time for the reverse fare. And the reverse fair is a lot more smoother than interlock the wave. 
piece in there. Now time for a joint pin of the faces. And now time for the riffle shuffle or bridge shuffle. Well, like I said, the first one or two ripples felt a little bit more clumpy just because the cards feel a little bit more thicker. And they are fully inked from back to front, like both sides. So that's one reason why they're probably a little bit more thicker of a card. So if you want these cards to feel nice and smooth, you definitely have to break them in. And you're going to have to get used to the stock and finish, because it's definitely like a different feel to the cards, like you can definitely feel that. If you're not used to Legends, like stock and finish, if you're mostly used to like bicycle finish, then you're definitely going to feel a lot different. But I handle like so many de different decks of cards, like I'm kind of used to it in a way. But they're not like the worst. Like riffles, like after I just did a bunch there, so there's it's getting a little bit more smoother over time. So it's gonna be broken in. But now, time for the pack of cuts. Well, the pack cuts weren't too bad, but they, you could definitely tell they were slippery. Like, I almost dropped them a few times there. Like, they almost slid on my hands a little bit. So, you gotta uh, be careful that they won't slide out of your hands. But they're still not, like, terrible pack of cuts. Other than them sliding in your hands, they're pretty, like, average, I guess. Nothing, like, overly special. Now, time for the one-handed cut, or surely a cut. Yep, they're definitely slippery if I'm almost dropping them. Now time for the dribble. Well, the dribbles definitely feel different. Obviously, a different stock and finish. But, like, they're not terrible dribbles. Over time, you can get them, like, break in and feel a little bit more smooth, but they're a little bit slippery. I was going to say they're a little bit clumpy, like, at the beginning, but they're starting to feel a little bit more smoother now. Not too terrible. And now time for that spread fan. And lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, I gotta say, it's definitely an interesting design there. You got that like, kind of harp design. Definitely not a design for everybody. But it's not terrible. It's not like, like the worst design. It's just nothing crazy. So, yeah. And then for the face cards here, all the faces, all the pips are the same color. So, like the main color of it, like the spades and the clubs have that little bit of green striping in it. And then the hearts and the diamonds have that little orange kind of striping. So, 
you can definitely tell the difference. But like, just, just from seeing them all here, like far distance, you couldn't really tell because they're all the same color. But still not bad because you've got the white, orange, and green for like the Irish flag there. So that's why they probably did the white pips and suits so that they could have like all three colors of their flag on the face cards because these are the Ireland playing cards. So not like the worst design ever, but nothing like overly special or crazy going on. So definitely not a deck for like everybody. But not terrible. And then for that handling which you just saw. Definitely not like the best handling. Because you definitely have to like be used to like legends, stock and finish. So they definitely feel a lot different. So even for me like handling so many decks over the years. I'm still not like used to like legends finish and like other finishes that much. I'm more like. Stuck with the old, like, original bicycle, like, air cushion fins stock, but, like, they're not bad, but you can definitely tell a different feeling, so. And they're definitely slippery, because I'm just dropping them all over the place. But with that being said, you got that decent, like, design to it, and the decent handling. So, not, like, a terrible design, but not the best either. So, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed, and this has been day 276 of a daily deck review. This has been the Island Premium Play Cards from Midnight Cards, and I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Next time, bye.